Somehow, somehow, Lord, I've got to make the journey somehow. Oh, the devil's on my track. Turn it, turn me back. Gotta make this journey somehow. Somehow, somehow. Lord, I've got to make the journey somehow. Oh, the devil's on my back. Time to turn me back. Gotta make this back. Somehow, somehow, I've got to make the journey somehow. Oh, the devil's on my track. Time to turn me back. Gotta make this journey somehow, somehow. Lord, I've got to make the journey. Devil's on my track. Time to turn me back. Got to make this journey somehow.
This is your glorious church today. Grace Temple. Don't be discharged and be out. Few months. Somebody said we going back and visit the pastor. He ain't well yet. Oh, y'all know I'm in the right church. I mean. He's still sick. Ooh. And some of you be just like my uh, Job's friends were. Well, he must have done something wrong. Lord's got him. That's what Job's three friends did. So now I looked at him seven days, and after seven days, didn't know what to tell him. Ah, he must be, must have sinned, Job. Must have sinned, must have sinned. Must have sinned, must have sinned. That's just like us. Child of God gets sick, have some misfortunes or whatever. Must have seen God got him. God didn't you? And then all of a sudden we get real spiritual. The spirit led me to tell you, said, if you just repent. You ain't got to have nobody come to you to tell you to repent. You can repent on your bed for anything or whatever and whatever, and God hears you without me there or any of these elders. Y'all ain't listening. Lord, I feel like preaching here. I don't have time to really go through this. I got a lot to say here today. I'm going to have to cut it down some. Praise the Lord. Some of you look a little tired. Amen. Some of you I'm putting to sleep. But wake them up. Keep them awake. Amen. Keep them awake. Keep them awake. Tell them, wake up. You must see yourself. Not merely as a guest for a day. But a, as a recipient of God's covenant mercy. You must see in order to be successful yourself as a recipient of the mercies of God continually. Because whenever you feel so holy until you feel that God's to do for you what he's doing for you you on dangerous territory I keep telling you your fasting don't keep you to keep the enemy away from your door necessarily it ain't your praying that keeps him away it is the God that you pray to hallelujah because the devil your adversary is as a roaring lion Walking up and down, to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. But you do have the power to tell that devil you ain't getting me. All of the days of your life should be spent magnifying and glorifying the Lord. Hallelujah. When I really look at David here as the great writer of this precious psalm, this man went through something. One of y'all really know what uh, David went through. He suffered many things. The lion, the bear, Bathsheba suffered his daughter to be victimized by her brother incest y'all ain't listening because he was wrong in his encounter with Bathsheba God is the only one that, for, that, that could forgive him for his sin. After the relationship with Bathsheba, David had her husband put at the forefront of the battle. As you know, he told the brothers withdraw from him. He was killed. After he was killed, the great king took 
Bathsheba to be his wife. And before they were married, the relationship that they had caused her to conceive. But God had a promise way back that David's son would be heir to the throne. But God did not want the illegitimate son to sit on the throne as the great king of Israel, as David's successor. Y'all bear with me a few minutes. And God had sent word to David that the child you have is going to die. That child you conceived with, it ain't going to live because I don't like the way it was conceived. But David, without hesitation, went before God in prayer and talked to God for himself. Wouldn't eat. Lay before the Lord in repentance. Lord, spare my child. But God had already said no. You know, sometimes you and I give an answer and we keep on praying. And God still says no. Or God still says yes, whatever the case may be. But when you look at a situation, you discover that David had no reason himself to get up but he prayed stayed before God now how is it that a man could hear God say no and keep on praying it tells me here that you and I must pray until something happens. Don't just give up. Keep on praying. When you pray, God is the only person that can answer and will answer your prayers. Now, the child died. And when the child died, my God, they didn't want to tell David that the child was dead. They didn't know how he was going to take it. But David, being the great king that he was, amidst his mistake. When he saw his servants whispering among themselves, he said, what is it that's going on here? Is the child dead? They said, yes, king, the child is dead. David did not have a nervous breakdown. David did not have a crying fit. Looked like that's when he really would have cried. But he got up, <laughs> washed himself. He got up, went on into his house, ate some food. See, when you get through fasting, you have to clean up and get things together. Get back to normalcy. David said, now, let's have church. <laughs> it's worship time. They said, well, master, how is it that while the child lived, you, you prayed and you was non-communicable. You, you just laid out there. What is it? He said, well, 
Who knows what God would have done? Who knows what kind of mercy God would have had? Who knows whether God would have changed his mind? Who knows what God would say? But now the child is gone. I can't bring him back. But I must prepare to go to him. Let's have church. Went on about his business. Went back home to his wife. And began to live a normal life. But what I'm trying to get across to you today is in spite of his evil deeds, in spite of his depression, in spite of hell breaking loose in that man's life, he could still say there is an unfailing love that's going to follow me all the days of my life. Lord, I feel good here. Unfailing love is without conditions. Many of us serve God on conditional basis. But do you know we're here today unconditionally because God loves us so much. And I wish I was in the right church. Hallelujah. Not here because we're so great. We ain't that powerful. God doesn't have to have us because Jesus said when he was here, if these hold their peace, if you don't ever praise me, if you don't ever lift me up, all these rocks in this valley, all these stones in this mountain will cry out. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I know this much. I ain't going to let no rock take my place. Hallelujah. I'm going to lift him up. Thank you, children. I'm going to praise his name. Hallelujah. Whatever's going on, I'm going to praise it. If there was anybody worthy of death, if there was anybody worthy of, of, of uh, execution under the law, it was David because of his great sin. But the Lord told him, the sword shall not depart from your house. In other words, man, you're going to have trouble all the days of your life. Yes, I love you. You're the sweet psalmist of Israel. You're going down in history as the greatest of the kings of Israel. But it's not because of you. It's not because of your powers. But because I love you. Because I'm crazy about you. Because of my own powers, I'm going to anoint you to be the king. I'm going to let you remain the king, but you have to suffer. Wait a minute, children of God, let me tell you something. Because you walk in here and you get saved, you get baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, that does not say you're not going to have trouble. That does not say your home's going to be straightened out. That does not say you're not going to be mistreated. That does not spell out you're going to have riches and fame and a whole lot of popularity. But to be saved and broke, to be saved and hell's breaking loose, to be saved and the devil is raging, you can get up in the morning and say, surely, goodness and mercy, unfailing love is going to follow me all the days of my life. Woo, my, my, my. Lord, I wish I was in the right church here. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to cut it off here. <laughs> After a while, but I just want to tell somebody. Hey, man, you got it. <laughs> you got the best thing you ever had <laughs> to follow you all the days of your life. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> My God, lions chasing you up and down the street. <laughs> Pit bulls and <laughs> Hallelujah. Rock wilders. <laughs> 
on your trail trying to turn you around but you see your road here it may run to a glen of gloom hey amen you can say like this writer even though i walk to the valley in the shadow of death hallelujah what is he trying to say even though i walk in the darkest valley i don't fear any harm for thou art with me my god my god i'd rather know that god is with me than to put my hand on my pocket and know i got ten thousand dollars in it Honey, having God with me is better than having all of you as friends and well-wishers. Mm -hmm. Having God with me is better than having all of the family intact and everything seemingly going well. For if you got God with you, he's going to help you to make it. Can I get a witness here? Somehow, oh Lord, you've got to make this journey. Thank you, Jesus. David had no reason to say the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He had no reason to even lift up his eyes to the hill from which coming his help. He had no reason to look to God for sustenance and help in any kind of form. When we look for my little finite minds, it seemed like he had no reason to ever call upon God at all. But because God is who he is, now I don't care what you're in or what you've been through here today, and I don't care what you're about to go through, surely goodness and mercy is going to walk with him, surely you got to make it child of God, God, he's going to see you through, God is going to stand by your side, the hell hounds are going to rage, trouble in your home, trouble on your job, but somehow, you're going to make the journey, somehow, we shall survive. Woo, my, my, my. Lord, I wish I could preach like I feel. Because I feel my help in this room. Yes, I do. I feel like dancing again. I feel like shouting and running and telling the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. You may not feel like it because you are very holy and you're real sanctified. Hallelujah. I feel the presence of God, but I know why I'm here. I'm here because of the unfailing love of God. Can I get a witness here? And I, I, I just rose up to tell you that the Lord has said, praise me and I'm going to set you free. Praise me and I'm going to deliver you. Praise me. And I'll turn the heat up in the flame. But I'll fix it so you won't be destroyed. Praise me. And I'll turn you loose in the den of lions. But I'll lock up their jaws before you get there. Praise me. And I'll walk in the courtroom when they want to find you guilty. I'll touch the heart of the jury, the judge. And I'll bring you out all right. Praise me. And when you get back to that doctor, he won't find this time what he thought he found the last time. Praise me. And I'll lift you up and give you peace like you never had before. Praise me. And I'll bring you out all right. Can I get a witness here? My man. Well, I wish I had more time here. But I just want to help somebody. Because I know you're going through. 
My God. I meant to show you. Share some of this letter with you. Hallelujah. But child of God, you anonymous individual that wrote about the hard time you're having in your marriage. My God, your husband don't care anything about her. Nothing but being a big shot and being uh, somebody big in church. Uh, I don't know whether it's this church or some other church. Uh, hallelujah. And you said, how? Uh, you're going through hell and high water. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know, when I look at it, uh, you're trying to tell folks uh, you want me to warn other folks uh, uh, that if you're single, uh, you don't know how blessed you are. Uh, you're saying he singles. Wait, wait, wait. Ha. Hallelujah. Ha. Now you must be going through so much ha, that you wish nobody else would get married ha, and live in the hell you live in. Ha. But I've got news for you. Ha. God can change everything. Ha. Am I in a believing church? Ha. God can make a hellion ha, into a saint. Ha. Look around at some of you. Ha. Some of us were nothing but hellions. We had a nasty mouth. Hallelujah. We act all ugly. We were contrarian and good for nothing. But one day we met Jesus. And look at me now. I'm a testimony. Hallelujah. I didn't get here on my own. But God. He brought me all the way And I'm gonna praise him I'm gonna magnify the Lord my, my, my. Hallelujah Can I get a witness here? You know how many times we just don't know What folks are going through all around us You don't know what people are going through But honey let me tell you now Surely Goodness and mercy and this ought to make everybody feel good. Goodness and mercy. Mercy is the unfailing love of God. Shall always be with you. When you fail, the unfailing love of God. It ain't going nowhere. When you're not strong, the unfailing love of God will be right there to strengthen you. When you ain't where you ought to be, uh, the, uh, the unfailing uh, love of God uh, will be there to help you uh, and bring you where you ought to be. Uh, I don't know about you today, but I'm glad for this unfailing love. Uh, that's why I'm here today, uh, the unfailing love of God. Uh, aren't you glad today? That the unfailing love came by your bedroom this morning. Aren't you glad today that that unfailing love dropped by your house last night? Aren't you glad that that unfailing love is right here with you now? Well, instead of sitting here looking at me like I'm the only one got it, you ought to praise him. When you were so mean and hateful and undone, God gave you joy. God gave you joy. God gave you joy. Now you sit around some of us and we try to take it from you. But don't you let no ugly specimen sitting around you steal your joy. Don't you let no trouble in your home steal your joy don't you let no problem that come against you steal your joy but keep on praising him keep on blessing him for the anointing destroys the yoke the anointing does away with the yoke if I can get anointed I can get my freedom if I can get anointed I can whip up in the devil if I can get anointed everything 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 will be all right 
I'm, I'm, I'm. Hallelujah. Can I get a witness here? My, my. Surely. Now, if you die with it, it ain't gonna be yours. But everybody that has no doubt, say with me, surely. 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 If lions couldn't eat up Daniel, they can't bother me. If the fire couldn't consume the Hebrew children, it sure can't consume me. Surely, surely, oh, hallelujah. I feel like dancing now. Somebody said, but you ain't going through nothing. You don't know what I'm going through. Like, I don't know what you're going through. When I look at you, it looks like you ain't going through nothing. But surely. Hallelujah. Surely. Touch somebody and say, surely. you to be mercy because you look good. I let this be goodness. Surely goodness and mercy going to be with me sometime. Hallelujah. When I'm up in that place where maybe I shouldn't be Surely, goodness and mercy. Surely, goodness and mercy. Y'all yes, well, better get together here. I don't want goodness to leave mercy, and I don't need mercy to leave goodness. But surely. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Goodness and mercy. 